following her divorce from Brandon Blackstock, Kelly Clarkson altered the lyrics to her song piece by piece. Without a doubt, Kelly Clarkson is the most notable American Idol victor ever. She has released 10 studio albums since winning the singing competition, and they have together sold more than 25 million copies and 45 million singles worldwide. She's also shown that she is capable of much more than just singing and songwriting. After joining The Voice for its 15th season a few years ago, Clarkson is now a well-known author, television host, and vocal coach. Kelly Clarkson's career is thriving and she still has a net worth of $45 million, despite her recent divorce from Brandon Blackstock. Despite this, the stronger singer is not pleased with how her relationship with Blackstock ended, and she is letting her fans know it. Clarkson recently performed a song that was originally written for her ex-husband, but she updated the lyrics to reflect how she feels about him now. Kelly Clarkson believes that because of their first date, her relationship with Brandon Blackstock was destined to end. At a practice for the Academy of Country Music Awards in 2006, Kelly Clarkson first got to know her ex-husband, Brandon Blackston. This man strolls past and makes everyone chuckle. I predicted that I would marry him. I know it, the singer said when asked about their first meeting. Blackstock, though, was already married to Melissa Ashworth at the time. At the Super Bowl six years later, Clarkson and Blackstock reconnected. When asked about her anxiety before singing the national anthem at the big game to Sirius XM in 2017, Clarkson said, I was so scared because it wasn't that I didn't want to suck for the millions of people watching, I didn't want to suck because I was trying to impress a guy. There was no connection to the Super Bowl, so I wanted him to say, damn. The former American Idol contestant acknowledged that at the time, Blackstock believed she despised him. In spite of this, they went on their first date that year, which was overshadowed by a tragic occurrence. Whitney Houston was one of Clarkson's superhero inspirations, and their first date occurred on the day of her passing. This is the funniest, worst thing ever, Clarkson quipped. This is a bad omen, I thought. Clarkson and Blackstock continued dating after the unlucky first date until announcing their engagement in December 2012. The couple welcomed their daughter, River Rose, in 2014 after formally exchanging vows in October of the following year.